Hey folks, well, it's officially cold out. It's the winter time if you can't tell by the snow behind me and around me and possibly falling a little bit right now actually. So today we're talking about tips and tricks to keep you warm during the winter time. I'm gonna be sharing with you the personal tips and tricks that I use whenever I go out camping and it's cold out, whether that's the fall season, the spring season, but specifically the winter season. So stick with me and let's go through them. So tip number one, Reflectix. I love this stuff and I use it for many, many different reasons. But specifically, I love it during the winter time to put under my bed. Now, you'll see here that I have a couple of different sheets. It runs the length of my bed, but also the width of my bed here. And the reason that I do this is Reflectix works because it reflects back the heat that's coming off of your body. So when I'm laying down on my bed, heat is escaping from my body, but instead of having it just absorb down through the truck, it's actually going to absorb through my mattress, hit the Reflectix, and get bounced back up to me. So in that way, it really helps me stay a lot warmer in my bed, and I love it. One other thing that I love about Reflectix is, whether you're in a bed like this, a truck camper, you're in a vehicle, really any vehicle, or you're in a tent or even a survival shelter situation, this stuff you can cut to size. It's super lightweight. Just put it under wherever you're sleeping and it'll work for you. It's absolutely wonderful. One other tip with Reflectix that I'll share with you is whenever I'm out and it's cold, I put this under wherever I am sitting. You'll see in some of the videos on my channel, and I'll link some below, you'll see this in action. I will put this down on snow and put a blanket on top of it to sit, and it's super warm. I absolutely love it. It cuts the chill from whatever it is that you're doing. So again, Reflectix. It's incredibly versatile and very, very helpful with staying much warmer during the winter time. My next tip is an oldie but a goodie, but also kind of a secret. For some reason, people don't talk about this, but it's something that, that we as humans have been doing for quite some time to keep ourselves warm, whether it's inside of a house or it's camping. What is that? It's using rocks to warm your space. So here's the way this works. You wanna find some rocks, uh, whether you find them before your trip or you can find them at your site itself if you've got, you're in a landscape that has rocks around it. Pick up uh, one, two, three, however many rocks you would like. And when you're sitting around the campfire at night, put these close to the fire. Now don't put them in the fire because you don't want them to get burning red hot because what you're gonna do with them is once they've soaked in a lot of that heat, before you're ready to retire for bed uh, at night, 20 minutes or so before you're ready, you're gonna pick these rocks up very carefully. Remember, they're probably pretty warm, um, if not kind of hot. So just be very careful with this use your fire gloves or something else. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take a towel or a pillowcase or a sock, depending on what size the rock is, and you're going to wrap that rock up in whatever it is you decide to wrap it in. You're gonna put this in your sleeping area, whether it's a sleeping bag or it's a bed. The heat from the rock is going to emanate from the rock and actually warm up the space where it is. So again, make sure you don't heat the rock up to where it's going to um, melt whatever it is that you wrap around it or melt your sleeping bag. Be very careful. It's up to you to make sure you don't make it too hot. You want it warm and a warm rock will give off warmth for can be hours at a time and get you nice and toasty. So for me, in my bed, I would take this and I would put it probably one or two layers in my bed here. And I love sticking, if I just have one rock, I'll stick it at my feet because I can get pretty cold at my feet. So I'll put it at my feet and it will warm this entire area up. It's really phenomenal. It's as if I have an electric blanket on steroids in here. It's absolutely wonderful. But if I have even more than that, I might spread them around my bed, let them sit for 20 to 30 minutes before I get in. And then I'll actually just crawl in bed with the rocks there. Now, if they're in my way, I might move them out to a pr the perimeter, but they're still giving off heat. So I want to soak in all of that. I want that heat to be going off inside my sleeping bag or underneath my bedding so that it's catching that heat and creating a warmth barrier for me. So that's a tip. Use rocks, warm them up, 
stick them in your sleeping bag or your bedding, whatever it is that you use, and make sure to do it safely. So the next thing I wanna talk about is something that most all of you have probably heard about, but it bears repeating in staying warm during the winter time. And it is the good old hot water bottle. This is an absolutely fantastic way to warm up your space as well. Whether it's your sleeping space or you've got uh, an inside cabin or a tent, it will give off heat. You use it in the same way that you do rocks, put hot water in the water bottle, make sure it's nice and tight, wrap it up with something and stick it in your bedding. Or if you're sitting around the fire and you're cold and you want to do this, stick it between your legs. That'll help actually create some warmth in your core and push it out to your extremities. It's a really helpful thing to do if you are cold. And another cool thing about it is when you wake up in the morning, uh, you've got water ready to drink. It hasn't frozen on you and you don't have to, you know, dethaw anything so that you have water. It's right there with you. Now my next tip is specifically for heating up an area. It doesn't necessarily have to do with you sleeping, though it could be helpful to sleep. But this is really about, let's say, heating up the cabin behind me, or if you're in a tent or a van or whatever your situation may be, it's going to actually help heat the area around you. And that is heat from candles. Now, it doesn't have to be something fancy like this. Uh, I have this and I'm actually gonna try it out in my cabin, quite honestly, I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you that this one's a good one or not, but I happen to have it on me. You can use any kind of candle. You could use a tea light or other candles, as long as it's safe wherever you put it, it does give off heat. And as long as you've burned them long enough and you have some insulation around you, it will help keep you warm. Now this trick is all about the electric blanket. I know, I know, it's an electric blanket, but oof, it really, really does help. Now the one that I have is actually quite small. It runs on DC power. It's about three feet long by two feet wide. So it's pretty perfect just for my core itself. And what I'll do is I'll turn it on two to three hours before I get in my bed at night. And it heats up just enough to kind of take the chill out of my bed so it starts to warm that bed up for me which is really really helpful one of the things to think about with an electric blanket is where do you place it at some people think about trying to wrap a little electric blanket around them and trying to keep them warm i don't think that that works that well some people will put it on top of them to try and keep them warm i personally have not found that to be super successful so here's what i like to do I put it a couple of layers below me. So we all know heat rises. And so when I'm laying there and I have it actually below me, that heat's coming up and hopefully it's being trapped by my layer that's on top of me, which is this down comforter. And it's getting trapped inside of that bed for me. And I'm staying nice and toasty. Again, underneath the electric blanket, I have my mattress, which is foam. And then I've got that reflectix. So even if some of that heat is going downwards for some reason, it's gonna get reflected and come right back. So the whole idea is creating a cocoon, getting as much warmth in that cocoon and keeping it in so that hopefully you stay warm uh, during the evening when you're sleeping. And since you've stayed with me for this long, I have two more very quick tips just for you. Number one, before you get into your sleeping bag, even if you're doing the electric blanket, and you're doing the water bottles and you're doing the stones. I mean, you get gold stars if you do all three of those. I usually only do two, but if you do all three, whew, let me know. Um, but even if you're doing all of that stuff and whatever you're sleeping in, a sleeping bag, a this, a that, whatever, make sure that you yourself are not cold. What do I mean by that? So insulation will insulate anything that you bring into it. So if you are cold in your body and you're shivering and you're thinking, oh, I wanna get in my sleeping bag so I get warm, and then you get in your sleeping bag or your bedding and you're like, I'm not getting warm, I'm still really, really cold, it's because you brought cold in with you and that's now been trapped inside with you. So before you get into any of your bedding at night, make sure that you do a little cardio, not so much that you're sweating because then you'll actually be cold because now you're gonna be wet and cold, but do enough that you're getting your heart rate up, you're getting your blood moving, and you're feeling, starting to feel like that warmth in your body, then get into your bedding, and as your body releases that heat, you'll trap it in with you, and you're gonna get much warmer, much faster, 
and that's something that's very very helpful and tip extra tip number two is eat a little something before bed a little piece of chocolate a little piece of something that either has sugar or fat in it and what that will do is that will start your metabolism going in your body so that again it's starting to create that heat for you and it'll help you stay just a little bit warmer at night all right friends those are some very quick tips and tricks to try and keep you a little bit warmer during the winter time if any of these are new for you and you've learned something i'd love to hear about it or if you have other tips and tricks that you use during the winter time to keep you warm tell me about it i would love to learn some new things from you all and i'd appreciate you leaving that in the comments but until next time my friends if you like this please boop that like button hit the subscribe and go out and live your wild and precious life. Cheers.